What is going on guys? It's Shu here bringing you a, another review on 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. And I gotta say, it's gonna be weird saying that name for a few weeks, but I think it was this is a great anime. Fun to watch. I'm really, really looking forward to it every week to see these episodes. And I've been behind and I apologize for that. But without further ado, let's get to it. So we finally have the first event after all the hard work they had done in the last episode of getting all those pictures ready. We see that it is time to have them go and uh, get those uh, pictures shown to the world. However, we see that they're both nervous, both Lelisa and Masamune, both of them really just kind of nervous because of the fact that they've never both like been together outside of school or outside of club. And I love how, like, I guess in both their minds, this kind of feels kind of like a date, but not really. Uh, they're very nervous. And so we see how Lelisa actually looks for help from Mikari who kind of guides her with what she should look because the look that she was going to go was probably not the best one. One that would have been a little too much perhaps even for her. And so it was nice that we see that she assists. And in a way you kind of say, you, you, I guess you could say that they're rivals or maybe possible rivals. And so uh, it was a good, decent outfit, I guess, or whatever you want to honestly it's just i didn't think of it as a big deal but these guys are taking the first train they take the first train in order to make it on time and understandable like for me when it comes to events i try to be there as early as i can i'm not saying that i'm there that early but i'm there on time let's put it that way and so we see how they kind of interact uh the thought process for both of them is like oh my god you know i'm nervous and like i said understandable but we see that it's time for them to get into the actual uh, event and we have them setting up they actually see this other cosplayer who has been doing this for a while as well as her i guess photographer slash supporter and we see how like they pretty much have it together and here's the thing i think this was a natural thing because of the fact of them having more experience them being older they they know what they're doing they're seasoned at this point they they know exactly what to do and i feel for lilisa and and masamune both of them being very nervous because well for one no one's really going to the table secondly that she's not in cosplay and she even said that she didn't want to be dressed up in cosplay because she kind of wanted to show off uh didn't want to take away from her art which i understand you know it's a it's a it's a kind of a reasonable thing to want and the the main thing is like their presentation was bland they didn't have anything really to grab anyone's attention so it was very easily forgotten and we also start seeing masamune kind of having a i guess a dilemma where he starts thinking of oh no like I don't actually want them to see the pictures of her dressed that way and he's conflicted he is very much conflicted he's not even sure as to why he's conflicted he just knows that he's conflicted because of the fact that it's her and like he doesn't want to see pictures of like her being out distributed to people in provocative poses but we see that really there's no choice she's like look there's nothing really provocative about my pictures like they're all basically generic nothing of what we took is going to be put out there it's just the safe ones because i'm also underage and it's like he actually was very happy with that fact um and right when she was going to give up uh, he basically said no look you wanted to do this I wasn't supporting you fully and I want you to do this like I, I want you to dress up as well and showcase that you're the best there is and she was very nervous but luckily when it came down to her actually dressing up we see that all the other cosplayers who were wrapping up really basically were supportive of her and I think that was really cool like she was she had forgotten a few things honestly it wasn't really her fault she hadn't really been planning to cosplay her character so she ends up doing it and uh, i love how everyone is there uh, we also saw one of the girls who she had seen previously 
and actually was like look i didn't think you'd be here but I, you know it's great we're here to support you you know and basically pay it forward next time you know for someone else who has a dilemma just make sure you have some extra stuff just in case kind of like what we did today and you know it was a very nice thing to see honestly and i personally i'm not a cosplayer but i know people that do and like some are very helpful to others and so we see that you know she goes out there she's feeling great she's feeling herself and now it's going to be like a turning point for her for her to be able to distribute or i guess have people look at her stuff and give it a fair shot but overall good episode i thought it was fun let me know what you guys think i'd love to know your thoughts and as always though stay safe to care yourselves and others and i'll catch you all later